Hello, my name is Mitch, and welcome back to my single player, Mitch Plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World. And today, well, we're gonna work on the saloon some. But first, I was thinking I had some those dead bushes we can put around here and there. I think I put them over here. Right in this tent. Aha. There we go. I just want to kind of see what this looks like. If we just kind of did this every so often. Like, bloop. And then, maybe another one there. I don't want to spam them all over the place, but I think it might kind of look cool. Yeah. Along the road, like your traditional... Yeah. Like, you know, usually you have, like, the big bushes along the road and do, like, the hidden lighting and things, but everything here is dead. It's all dead. Sorry, that sounded very morbid. But you know what I'm saying. I like that. And it looks good with the kind of mixed in with the grass, too. Because the grass kind of adds a little bit of color. Then that kind of fades into all the other browns and grays and... Ugh. So I like it. So now, I did a little bit more work on the saloon, as you can see. I added a back to it. It goes back, yeah, about this far. Which feels huge, but once I get in there and start doing things, I'm going to be like, I need more room. But I don't think we're going to make it any bigger than this. Because scale-wise, it fits in well with the rest of the buildings. And I decided to go with these stairs like this to kind of look like the swinging doors. I know most people would probably just use a trap door and kind of put it on there and be like, none. But I think this looks better. Especially with the color contrast there with the walls on both sides. I really like it. And then inside, we're done. No. Inside, I was trying to figure out where I'd want to set up like the bar area. I think like right along here. And give a little bit of a table back here for them to set things on. And then maybe do some kind of um, thing with glass here. Well, let's just get to work on it. So it looked like one of those mirrors that they used to have in the bars. Mm, let's see. There we go. We'll use some of these stairs. We'll go like that. And then come across here. I don't know if I'll ever stick any villagers here or not. I don't, I'm not going to really worry about making this villager proof. Um, then like maybe right there we can put the little area to walk in and out of. That works. And then we might want to come back in here with another one of these logs. Like so. And then plop it down right there. Kind of as the corner piece of the bar. As far as bar stools go, I don't think we'll bother. Because they're just going to walk up to the bar and stand here and be like, Give me another whiskey! Or at least that's what I'm thinking. So now that we got that going, let's try to play around with this glass a little bit. We've got two different kinds. I thought mixing them in together might look cool. So, hmm. I think maybe we go something like, like that. And then mix this one in. Oh, gross, quick. Go away. Eh, eh. Does that give does that give you the feeling of like the mirrored kind of background. I don't like the black ones. Let's get rid of those. Let's just do it all gray. And if we come back up here with another pillar. Um, yeah. Acacia. Maybe like that. And then I was trying to figure out where my next floor is going to start up there. I want to say it's going to be about at this level, so we need to at least put something over the top of this. I guess we can get rid of that. Hmm. Let's see. We might just go with cobblestone. I mean, it didn't look too bad. Look at that. I don't have any cobblestone on me. Of all the things in the world to have. And I figured you'd all be very proud of me. Because I moved all my building supplies over here. And I don't even have what I need. Ooh. Well. What if we did stairs? 
How's that going to look? Hmm. Look okay there, but here I think we'd need something else. Yeah, I'm not feeling it right there. I don't know what we'll do with this little area here. Maybe have it go down to like a little basement, maybe. I feel like we need something else on those. So let's go grab some of this. Maybe put that there. There we go. That kind of evens that back out. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Now we got to do something to replace this. As far as the counter goes. I could have brought some brewing stands and stuff over here too, but that's almost too traditional what people do with these type of things. I think we need some kind of different wood though. Maybe we just go with the oak wood and like lay it down. Like it's a big oak wood you know, log laid this way. Eh? Well, it's, it offers contrast there and it kind of matches in too. I'm not against that. Let's get rid of this little dangly off piece though. I'm not enjoying that very much. And then we'll do some torches, maybe like right here. So we have some lighting back there at the bar. But yeah, I like that. It's very simple. Very quaint, I would say. Um, well, I had lighting right there, too. I don't know how I'm going to do all the lighting yet, so. I mean, I could always do, like, little dirt piles and stuff in here, too, with the brown wool. If we run into spots where we can't fit anything else. Okay, now let's figure out how we're going to do table. We're going to need a table, like, maybe here. Now we want to do the pressure plate, or we could do brown wool, too. Yeah, we might go with the pressure plate, but let's go ahead and go to sleep real quick. I'm afraid that's not going to be contrasty enough, though. It's going to kind of just blend into the floor. I don't know. You tell me. Which one do you like more? And we'll sleep. And... There. Okay, so... Hmm... A trap door we could use somewhere. Anything else in here that we can use? There's one piece of brown wool. I've got... Lots of stone, but I don't think stone really lends itself to the design of this area. And yeah, nothing really in there. Unless we did something with signs or a chest. Hmm... No, I say let's just keep going with what we got. I'm going to go over here and grab some wool. Oh, I need to eat. Let's eat real quick. There we go. Okay. Let me borrow a little bit of... Oh, it's already carpet. Look at that. You're so good. You're so good, sheep. In the hidden dirt hole. <laughs> I want to get back to work on the mine area, too, but the saloon is just kind of calling my name at the moment. If I don't get it finished today, I might kind of get it worked on off camera and show it off next episode. But I was thinking about doing something like that for the... Yeah, that works. For the tables in here. We're going to do chairs, though. I don't know what we'd use for a chair. We could do spruce. I'm thinking about out of spruce. Dark oak. Let's see how that looks instead of the... Let's get rid of this. Poof. And then go with the carpet on top of that. Like, uh... Bloop. How's that look? In the grand scheme of things, I think that's going to be a lot better for us. And then we'll have a chair, like right there. So whoever's sitting here is drinking alone. Then back here we might put another couple. I need some way to get upstairs too. So we're going to have to think about that. 
And I don't really know what upstairs is going to be. There's not a whole lot of room up there. I mean, usually in these saloons, it would be like a couple of cat house type bedrooms up there, maybe. Or maybe it doubles as an inn. We don't have to get so dirty. Well, let's... Let's go ahead and just get some stairs laid out so we don't have to worry about that and spacing. We need to do some cobblestone stairs. Maybe have it start right about here. Actually, let's kind of mix it in with the, the stone stairs and the cobblestone stairs. Kind of mixed in together. Because we want to kind of keep that worn down, gross feeling. Boop. Are we at... No, we're not the right level yet. I think one more should do it. There. That's going to bring this up as the floor level. Do we like that? Let me just put down some stone here and see. That's going to put the floor level at one, two, three. Make everything in here three high. And this is four high over here. That's not going to work for us. We need to bring it up one more. And that'll be ground level. Which is going to walk us right into the wall, but... <sighs> got to do what you got to do sometimes. Unless we bring this up one more. Well, I'm not... I don't hate this. So we can walk that way. <clears throat> yeah. That may work. Then we'll do upside down stairs, kind of boop, boop, boop. And then get the cobble or the stone stairs. Do the same thing. Can I click on that one? Oh, well, there we go. Dude. Yeah, I like that. That works. Now, for the floor up there, we're going to have to use wood, I believe. Why don't we use the same shade of wood? I want to offer some contrast. We're not using an orange wood. Forget it. I guess we'll have to use spruce. Give me some spruce. There we go. Now you might think that the, I don't know, the stone stairs are going to work for me. It's going to seem a little weird, I think. And that kind of blends in with the wall, which I'm not entirely in love with. Hmm. Got that. You'd think I've watched enough of these old westerns with my dad that I'd know how these buildings are kind of structured out. Oop, let's hit some light up here. But it's a little harder than you think. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, we're going to have very little space to work with up here. Hmm. I mean, we do bring it down again. It's like right there. Hmm. And how about we do that, but we use slabs? Would that work? I don't know. This maybe have, you know, it's gonna be something I'm gonna try, and then look at it, and then be like, ugh, that's gross, or yay, that does the job. So let's jump back in here, because I'd like to still be able to see this here. If we do that, then we're still going to be able to add building-related things here. We might just do away with the second story. I don't know. Seems like we have to have it for something, though, because there's that little balcony area up there. Let's just get this going and see how. I'm starting to like this more. It gives us a little bit more headroom. And it's kind of half block there. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of these. It's, it's, it feels good, though. I like that level better than this. 
And I don't know, what other kind of building should I put around here? I haven't fully decided yet if this is going to turn into like a western style building. Let's get rid of this. Or what? Because then this will give us more room here to walk out. I'm very happy. I think I'm happy. No, no, no. I am happy. Let's get that going. Right there. And then we'll do this. I just build this out here. Then I'm gonna have to remember to go back up there and add some lighting. Doop. And go across. Oh, we're out of slabs. More slabs. Doot doot. Doot. Oh. Table got in the way. I mean I could mix some different wood types in here too. Not totally out of the question. I just need more space. I think that's the main problem here. Is I made this building smaller than it needs to be, but for design reasons, I think it has to be this small. I don't know. There's a lot of different things that go, you know, play factors into how you build things in Minecraft. Because if you build things to scale, then everything really looks huge. It'll be extremely big and hard to build. There. And then how far can we bring this in before I start bumping my head on it? That's good. Let's go ahead and add some lighting. And then we're going to have to be stuck with this little area over here too, which I'm not entirely in love with. But there we go. That works. Now, what if we carried this stone over, maybe? Could we do that? It's gonna mess up my floor up there. Do that, and then do it over here, too. Let's see how we feel about that, because this ceiling is rather boring. It's bugging me. If we could do something with that. Let me look and see. Hmm. We could just come up with the slabs. We do have plenty of slabs. Or we could use whole blocks. I almost like the whole block idea more because it adds like a little bit of a, you know, area where it comes down. But I'm not sure if that makes sense. Does it make sense? Or we do like that. Hmm. I think I like it better the slab, actually. Do something like that. Then right here. Hmm. Maybe do something like this? Eh? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we could go with the acacia. Let's try putting the acacia wood down that. It's going to kind of get in the way of us walking up here. No, 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 no. What if we did that like right here? Then it offers that same kind of support across there. Then if we did it here, it would line up to go right about here. And then we can get rid of this block. And then just have it going in right there. Aha! Uh -huh. I like that. That feels good. Alright, we got a good portion of the bar done today. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. It adds like another dimension into the ceiling here. I may try to go in with another style or block type in here too. But I like this. We can just add a couple more little tables down here. And I think this section down here is going to be done. Maybe like a back door. Because you always need a back door in these old like western saloons. Because it's like 
kind of like, I'm calling you out, Jimmy Joe Johnson. And he's like, oh no, I don't want to be shot. Head out the back door. Or at least that's how it works out in my head. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time.